Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Before we go on this morning, I'm going to take share testimonies. We're learning about testimonies and we're going to spend time to, you know, take testimonies. I felt a need for us to pray. By the grace of God, next week, we're going to be, whilst we're trusting God for this, we're going to be having something called push. We're all going to be ministering together by God's grace next week. On something I could push. That's pray. Pray until something happened. Praise until something happened, whichever way. But it just felt very strong in our spirit. Um, yesterday I had I was on a prayer call. I got a word, shared a word the Lord laid on my heart. I thought it was just for that prayer call. But this morning I've had conversations with you know friends and all with the, two of my friends, and they both feel like this the, one of them got a word and he shared that God is saying that this season is very crucial. Um, some of you have fought battles and you it felt like you got a break or you're getting a break or something, and it's great. But God is saying, do not relent your don't don't rest, but don't be reckless. That's the word. Rest, but don't be reckless. Do not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. I just feel like when a very crucial season, you're taking in new territories, you're taking in new terrain. You're stepping into new, you're doing great things. Some of you are in the middle of expansions, you know, but God is asking us to pray. So we're going to do a lot of intercession by God's grace next week as we prepare for what is to come. Amen. Um, this morning, but whilst we are here, we're going to spend time to pray together just for a few minutes before we go into the testimonies. Um, we're still studying, you know, testimony as a weapon. I'll try and do a few things from now on Saturday. We'll do an activation on that. Um, we're going to go back to, we're going to be training about the prophetic again. Just to, for those that are just joining on those that are being, even just to renew what we know and just ensure that we're still sticking to setting prophetic protocol as we engage our giftings. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. But let's pray together. If what you are is not noisy, I want you to unmute your mic and let us pray. We're praying that, Lord, our hearts will be open and our ears will be sensitive to your instructions and to your leading in the name of Jesus. We're praying for strength, you know. I keep saying that strength is a miracle. I know it very well. <laughs> I, can, I can talk about it for days. That strength is indeed a miracle. Some of us, for what we're praying for, what is delaying it or what is making you know, enjoy certain full manifestation is not because... Um, God has not done it. It's just a case of the strength needed for what we, we don't have the strength and capacity. So let us pray in the Holy Ghost, building our capacity and expanding ourselves in the spirit. Where your eyes don't know, you can unmute your mics. Oh, I build up myself like an edifice. I yet do not be distracted. We will not be distracted. Make it de 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 boko shadaba. Brada baka ba supre de veke shake de deba. Medeke de 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 boko suko to kuro to kosha. Make it de de boko shadaba yadaba. Zopo do 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 boko suko to kuro to boko shadaba. Medeke seke te la de de boko shoko do do boko sa. Brada da 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 boko shoko to Maya da baka suprede de bokusha. Mede de de bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Mede de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de 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 bokusha kuto lo kuto bokusha. Shake de
Father Lord, we thank you. My Yadabaka Supreme In Jesus' precious name of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. If we have any testimonies, you can just raise your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Testimonies. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Anybody else? Testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Statoin, you can go ahead. 
Okay, I'm actually in transit. I hope the noise um, interference will not be so. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Um, I just want to see. I don't know where. Oh, God, I've been gracious and loving, faithful. So I just want to bless the name of the Lord for the total victory. And just as you have said, the fact that we had victory does not mean we should be complacent. So I'm still going to be pushing forward. I thank God that what we all collectively prayed towards has been issued. And I received it in my hand on Tuesday. And wow. may, um, very soon, I'll also be living with my family. So I just want to bless the name of the Lord. I can um, yeah. say everything yeah. now yeah. because I'm, yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm grateful to God. I'm so grateful to Him. It wow. can only be Him. I thank God for victory at last. Thank you. Thank you, family. Thank you for. Wow, congratulations. Wow, congratulations. Can we just thank God for that testimony? Um, for those who are not aware, they're trusting God for their visa and the Lord has done it for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Ayo. Okay, good morning, PI. Good morning. I want to know if I'm audible. <laughs> Very audible. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Good morning, family. Okay, I want to bless God for healing. Uh, my hands at 80 years old uh, just suddenly fell sick and um, miraculously, of course, with a lot of money that went down, but that's not the issue. The most important part is that she's back home now and at she's going to be 80 in the next um, 10 days, yes, in the next 10 days. And um, this is one of my best, best, test, 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 test aunts. She's my mom's el immediate elder sister. And she's like a mom to me and to all of us. So I want to bless God for that divine healing because what she went through was as if that was going to be the end. Then also my uncle also called us and said he was also in the hospital and he had to go through surgery at 86. And I was like, yeah. what's going on here? And on Sunday, we went to see him and I thank God he was healed and hurty. And I want to bless God. And lastly, um, my husband has always been saying this thing for the past seven years. Oh, August, we have to go. We have to go out. We have to travel. And I'll just laugh it over that. Well, please, anyway, it's fine. But this year, I bless God that indeed we're going out for summer. We got our visa wow. and um, the Lord has just been good to us. Yes. That's Amen. the testimony. Amen. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Can we just thank God for that testimony? Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, perfect what he has started in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Miriam. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming to PI. Um, I, I like to thank God for strength, um, for just being my supernatural. I don't know, is it me or I can't hear Miriam? Am I the only one? Yeah, here. Okay, cool. Miriam, we can't hear you. Miriam, we might have to type it. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Is there anybody else? Okay. I think I can see something here. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God for his loving kindness. I want to thank God for his patience, Sister Nikki. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. I want to thank God for renewal in all areas. I want to thank God for his infinite presence. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Miriam, can you try again? Let's see. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank right, you. Cool. Yeah. So I basically, I was just saying, like, I just want to thank God for strength. It's been a very stretching season for me, like, since Recalibrate 2021. It's been a very unique season of strength. And it seems like this week it intensified because I just felt burnt out from the whole, you know, stretching of it all. And I remember Pierre saying that we should confess to our friends that there's a way you can talk to 
people that you know God has placed in your life without it seeming like you're complaining or putting your seed of testimony. And I was saying that I trust God, but I just feel burnt out from it all. And we picked, and I picked a promise. You know, she didn't pick a promise. I was Galatians saying that it is not I who live. Galatians 2, 1, 20, I believe. It is not I who live, but Christ. But Christ that lives through me. And I just want to thank God for strength because even though it looks like the stretching is, you know, is 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 taking me to places that I don't know, but God hasn't left me and it is Christ who lives in me. So I just want to thank God for strength and for joy in my life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for strength and for joy. Anybody else before we go on? All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Sister Ugo, let me read it. I want to thank God for increase so much newness. God has blessed me all around. My His grace over my life. I've been increasing in ways that are overflowing my faith and provision miracles all around. Amen. We thank God for increase. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. So what we're going to do this morning, you know, because it's our testimony day, we're going to testify in advance and we're going to do it as prayers. So we're just going to begin to call forth those things that be not be not as though they were. Praise God. We're going to call forth those things that be not as though they were. First, we're going to testify over Nigeria. I want us to take a moment to begin to thank God for Nigeria and then we'll go to our personal space. All right, if you guys don't know, you can unmute your mic. Just picture something. What do you see about Nigeria? What is that one thing on your heart? And just begin to thank God and testify about it. We all can do it at the same time. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for Nigeria. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the testimony of our leadership. Thank you, oh God, for resolving the issue of leadership in Nigeria. Oh, thank you, oh God, for the fear of the Lord in our leadership. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. We look around and we see your hand in the leadership structure and system of Nigeria. Thank you for those leaders who have compassion, leaders who have the fear of God, leaders who just want to pray. Is God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for that. Thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, for having people, oh God, that their heart burns and pants after you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
you because they are doing your will. Huh? In the name of Jesus, oh, come on, pray for Nigeria. Please pray for Nigeria. Thank God for the currency. Thank God for Naira. Thank God because of how you restored Naira to his glory. Thank you, Jesus, oh God, because our, our currency is not valued anymore. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for increase on Naira. Thank you for making Naira, oh God, huh? a variable currency. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring the, the glory of Naira. Thank you for restoring it. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the economy. Thank you, Jehovah, because the hardship are gone. Thank you because you turn around the hardship. Oh, shut up. Come on, open your mouth and pray this morning. Huh? Mendeke supre de boko shadaba. Oh, thank you, 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 oh God, thank you, oh God, thank you, oh God, thank you, oh God, for all the loopholes, areas where the money is being wasted. Thank you, because for by exposing it and giving our leaders the wisdom on what to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, thank you for turning around the supposed feeding crisis. Nigeria. Thank you because food is available and affordable. Oh, thank you for the invention. Thank you for the wisdom. Oh, thank you, God, Father, because it becomes impossible for our government to steal. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jehovah, for policies that have been passed up. Godly policies, right policies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. God for Nigeria is not for righteousness. Uh, every corrupt practice is God. Thank you, oh God. Righteousness is sown into the fiber of our nation in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, oh God, for righteous speaking. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name of prayer. I still want us to pray again for our nation. I don't know about you, but there's so much to pray. And this is one way to go about it, thanking God. Because we have prayed in, a lot of times about what we want to see. We need to thank God. You know, as I was praying about righteousness being sown into being in the fiber of every citizen, if you engage people beyond the leaders, of course, we're a reflection of you know the kind of leaders we choose and all of those things. But people want they just Nigerians are not opportunists looking for every opportunity to milk people. That's not who we are. Righteousness will be so into every fiber. Imagine going to somebody's organization. I remember the first time I went to my, a friend's organization and the person that was serving me there was giving me her own card. I mean, somebody's business and you're trying to, in somebody's business that you're doing somebody's work and you're giving me card for your own business to do the same service, even though I came in for someone else's service. Can you imagine? Just funny things, like things happen and people are about to milk it as against compassion. What do you think of a compassionate citizens that were compassionate people in the name of Jesus? We're not looking for opportunities to milk people, opportunities to pull people down, opportunities to just create chaos. Who have the fear of God as citizens in the name of Jesus? Not abusing system, not abusing, not taking advantage. Like I went to get something, Nikki and I went to a store recently and when we this guy came in of course there are people ahead of you and he said he wants to return return of course i was a little surprised that you do refer and return you want to exchange rather and the lady was like okay um do you have the other one and he got angry i don't know what she asked she just this really asked the question no do you have your receipts how do you want to exchange or refund or return something that you don't have a receipt for she wanted to return and he just got angry that she asked for retreat. What do you mean? In fact, take it and threw it. And and I were like, these are the same people that you travel out of the country. You go to a store. They will ask you the same question. And you'll be speaking English to respond. Oh, okay, I have my receipt. I don't have my receipt. I'm going to pray against bad behavior. Like, oh, we thank you because Nigerians are compassionate. They are patient and they are law-abiding citizens. 
in the name of Jesus. Can we open our mouth and begin to pray that in the name of Jesus, we will not, we, 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 Nigerians don't cause problem for themselves anymore. In the name of our compassionate citizens, in the name of citizens with the fear of God, in the name of just citizens that will not just obey laws in foreign lands, but they will also be, they will obey laws here in the country. In the name of Jesus, let's open our eyes and begin to pray. They are not, they are not opportunities. They are not looking for ways of siphoning and stealing. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Ah, we don't have people that will collect contracts or use half of it for personal use. Oh, and just do shabby job. Ah, Lord, we pray that the quality of work, we thank you because now we see that the quality of work being done in Nigeria of construction to the road, oh God, is quality in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, Lord, we thank you for the kind of leaders that we have. We thank you for that. It's even rubbing off on the citizens. Ah. Thank you for the quality of citizens. Ah. Citizens that have the fear of God. Citizens that will be effective at their place of work. Citizens that will not imagine people stealing the metal on the road. You know, just some things that you want. These things can jeopardize the life of people. The Lord God, we thank you because we don't have such situation. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Ah, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh God, we thank you oh God, for what you're doing. We testify in advance concerning the citizens of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you because we see your hand. We thank you because we see your hand. In the name of Jesus, oh, we see your hand. 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 In the name of Jesus, the fear of the Lord has risen. The fear of the Lord keeps rising amongst us. In the name of Jesus, Maka Sata Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, we see your hand. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, we see your hand. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for dignity among Nigerians. Thank you for integrity among Nigerians. Thank you for the fear of God. Thank you for the, 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 the ah, thank you, Jesus, oh God. Ah, oh, there is dignity of labor in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you because you've delivered us from selective honor. We honor, we honor people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, ah, you kill us of every orphan spirit. Thank you for healing Nigerian Africa as a of this orphan spirit. We don't longer have orphans as leaders, but we have people that fear the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and pray here. That Lord, even for workers. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, we talked about um this whole employability thing, and a couple of us are having conversation because we really have to do something about it. We're going to pray that um, <laughs> I don't even know how to phrase this prayer point. But one of the things we realize is from even doing interviews for people, the quality of graduates. No, let's pray for the educational sector. Myself as I were laughing about it. It was, it was, it was funny, but thinking about it. Imagine going to school and your the the lecturer who is a first class material, first class. Master, undergrad, masters, and 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 um, T um PhD, looking very unkept, teaching you and always and telling the student that you see all of that in this course, that you end up like him or you become POS operators. I mean, there's nothing wrong with people that are doing POS operators, but you are just in a very degraded manner. You're saying it to people like you can't. There's nothing. You're not right. Imagine lecturers letting people know that all this you are studying, there's no future. That people that are drop out are making more money than those of you that sit there, there in the class. So you can see the, where the man is coming from. I feel it's someone that has been frustrated 
by the system because at the end of the day, read where he came out with the first class and so, quote on quotes in his mind, what does he have to show for it? We're going to pray for the educational sector. I'm going to thank God that the Lord has revived the educational sector in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Father, because the educational sector has been revived in the name of the last week. Um, somebody I know went to the hospital and they were on strike. He said, as she entered, they said, oh, we just went on strike now, now, now. And she's wondering, strike and there's no light. What about people in emergency units? Oh, we lift up the educational sector. We lift up the health sector. We thank you because you have revamped that sector. Thank you because you have leaders that are passionate about education and the welfare of people, the health of people. Thank you, Lord Jehovah, because you have revamped it uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for restructuring. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you because every resources that has been deployed uh, to educational sector, to the health sector, are being used judici judiciously in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you because those funds are not diverted in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you because our educational sector is, is, is as risen in the name of Jesus, is top notch, has the best qualities. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we pray for lecturers, uh, we pray for doctors. Uh, our Lord, you strengthen these ones. Uh, in any way they have been, they feel betrayed, in any way they are bitter, in any way they feel abandoned by the, by the system. Uh, Lord, I pray you will heal them, you will raise help for them, you will bless step indeed by yourself in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for a visitation on campuses. Uh, we pray for a visitation on campuses. Uh, it will not be a cage that is producing mentally lazy people. It will not be a cage whereby there is nothing going on but releasing people that are not equipped for the reward. Uh, but Lord, a revamp even to the even to the, 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 the what we are studying. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Uh, Lord, a revamp, a revisit a revisit, oh God, to our educational sector. You can cage a, a whole economy by what you expose them to. Through education, the devil can, can propagate his agenda. Hey, imagine passing on the, the, the spirit and the mindset of poverty from their teachers to the students. Uh, but Lord, we thank you because these structures have been put down and new structures have been erected. Uh, oh, thank you, oh God, for re, re, re cleaning out even the lecturers, oh God. Now, thank you, oh God, for reviving them Thank you, oh God, for giving them a reason to keep going on. In the name of Jesus, uh, ah, and our curriculum is, uh, they are visited from the primary to secondary to university. The curriculums are vis visited and they, they, and they are projecting transformation, no redundance, no poverty, no wickedness, no greed. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for revisiting our educational sector. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. You know, sometimes when we pray for our nation and pray these things, I know for some people like, hey, what is this? I, I, no, of course, not here because we, we know what we're in for. But I've seen people wonder, what are you praying about? Well, you don't understand. Hey, the future. And Jephthah said to me that the way things are going, God forbid, in, in Lagos alone, you have just two, two brain surgeons, I think two or so. And I knew because there was someone, that, I don't know if it was here or in church, someone that gave a testimony of how they had to run around. They call someone that calls two, two or three in their old states. And they're recycling them. Beyond, yes, we know people that have relocated, yes, but beyond people relocating. You see nurses that sometimes they don't know what to do. Our educational sector then, because we're not going to do it, was not matching the reality of a developing country, a reality of a developed a country that wants to be a developed country. The systems and processes in place. But Lord, we thank you because you have visited our educational sector. We thank you because you have the board to sit over curriculum. Thank you for the burden for them to sit and review. Shouldn't we start thinking about AI? Should we start thinking about some progressive careers for the advancement of the, of, of the nation? Lord, we thank you because you are revisiting our nation. You've revisited our nation when you visited our educational sector. Thank you because on this call, there are people you have chosen to work on the operational end of that prophetic word and we'll see a manifestation. These ones will not be tired in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Father, Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name of prayer. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you all. Remember, you can use this link to join other watches by 9, 12, 3, 6, 9 p.m., 12, 3, and we're back again tomorrow by 6 and we'll continue our teachings on the prophetic, uh, on testimonies. The Lord will strengthen us all in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.